What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. We are diving into Benny Norm Season 6. Can't believe it. Let's freaking go. Let's start the adventures, and make sure you guys have your snacks. Let's go! Fly like it. You slept all the way. What is the point of paying for extra legroom when the fat cow next to me had half her back wedged in my seat? You didn't pay for extra legroom? No, and thank God I never with Barbara Papa sitting next to me. I'm sure she was the woman in that documentary. She went to the doctor with stomach ache. He lifted up her gut, found nine quid in loose change, two remote controls, and next door's cat. Oh, will you please shut up? Just listen to two hours of you snoring on the plane. I don't need any more headache. <laughs> what have you got in that bag? Snoring? Who was snoring? Chance would be a fine thing with Elvis Presley next to me farting, shoveling in the pasties. He did snore, cos I videoed it on my dad's phone. Eh? That's never me. You've done something with that. <laughs> give us it here. Get off! Get get stop Nana, it. get off! Right, give us my phone, no. Michael. Get yeah. off! Right, give us my phone. Right. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. They're just a bit giddy about being on holiday. <laughs> what is this? What kind of film is this? You're <laughs> not allowed to bring video nasties into Spain. Video nasties? That's my mother. You cheeky bastard. You're not exactly Michael Bubbly yourself. Uh, she didn't mean <laughs> that. She's not a sick for about three hours. She'll be all right once we get her outside and stick her gob over the coach's exhaust for a couple of minutes. <laughs> <sighs> it's just a joke. Oh, look, we're holding up the queue. Um, wait. Your face, it is familiar to me. Really? Are you sure? Because I thought we all looked the same to you. And I don't mean that in a racialist way. I Have you ever been arrested in Spain, specifically Benidorm? Arrested? You're joking, aren't you? Me? <laughs> I wouldn't say boo to a goose. Yeah, you have. When you punch Mel on the beach, Jesus. they arrested you and put you in the cells in the police station. Nice one, Mike. Oops. Please, follow me. Brilliant. Another hour without a sink. Oh, shut up. Good morning. Joyce Temple Savage, Solana Manageress. How can I be of service to you? Well, for a start, we booked two rooms in a four-star hotel. But we seem to have been put into a, a 1970s Bulgarian youth hostel. Damn. I'm sorry. I went backpacking through Bulgaria in the 70s, and I can assure you, they didn't even have a ping pong table, never mind a piano bar with a choice of four continental lagers. There's no way this place would get a four star rating in any country. Now, was it Bulgaria or was it Minsk? I remember it sounded like one of the Wombles. How can you call yourselves four star? You have got to be joking. Poor quality bed linen, no safe in the rooms. Why are hangers in the wardrobe? Yes, I'm sorry about the hangers. We used to have solid gold ones, but people kept stealing them. I am not staying here, absolutely no way. No, it's all right, baby, I'm all over it. When we booked this hotel... There's no we... Wi-Fi. Wow. 
What? Is this true? Is what true? You've got no Wi-Fi! I can assure you we have full internet facilities in our newly refurbished business centre. And where is that? It's that desk over there. Ha <laughs> ha! <Hey>, whoa! <laughs> wow! You're not winup slash two three eight underscore six A, are you? I'm sorry, is he speaking English? Is your Wi-Fi's name Winup slash two three eight underscore six? Oh, Mateo, would you have a couple of minutes to look after Mr. Mrs. Dyer? Extinctor. What? What have I told you before, Mateo? You really must make an effort with the language. Fire! We need to stop the fire. I must apologise on behalf of my colleague. The Mediterranean temperament can be rough. What? <laughs> what fire? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I have found one. Fire. What's going on? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Welcome. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, 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 put it out. Oh. Put it out. Oh. What on earth been going on? Oh. 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 That's one of our towels. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Breakfast. <coughs> Who's getting cavity searched? And you say you packed this bag yourself? Yes, sir, I did, sir. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a mess, sir. Yes, sir, no, sir. Three bags full, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it was a present. Has anyone interfered with oh. this old brown leather bag? No, she's been a widow for years. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> Sorry. It's not nice, no. Sorry. Look, I I'm not being funny, but is this going to take much longer? If we miss our coach transfer, it's going to cost us a fortune in a taxi. It will take as long as it takes. We're a family going on holiday to Benidorm. We're not exactly international drug runners. What the freak? And? Uh oh. And you can't remember anything? Not really. Oh. I remember waking up on the sunbed and seeing Jesus, but after that, it's all a blur. You saw Jesus? Did he? come to you in a dream? No, he was cleaning the floors. You had a vision of Jesus cleaning the floors? Well, I wouldn't exactly call him a vision. And then again, I wouldn't kick him out of bed if he crawled in. <gasps> Kenneth didn't see Jesus from the Bible. He saw this Jesus from the maintenance block. His name is Jesus. Then why has he got Jesus written on his name badge? Good question. Thank you. His name, we spell this way, but we do not say Jesus. We say Jesus. <gasps> Whatever his name is, doesn't look as though he's going to be much use to us at the moment. Tell him to get up to hospital, get the all clear, and get back to work. I'll take him. No, you won't. You got work to do. Well, I haven't got any appointments till eleven. And what if you get a walk in? It might sound a bit rash, but I thought maybe you could do some work this month. I beg your pardon. Who do you think you're talking to? Just saying. Ladies, ladies, please. He says yeah. he's okay to go to the hospital himself. He says that she's a nurse there. Fine. Right, Mateo, tell Jesus to go and get his head examined and get that floor cleaner fished out of the pool ASAP. Kenneth, would you be so kind as to open your maison de santé? You what? Go and open your shop. All right. You said wait at reception. That was half an hour ago. Come on, you. If you'd like to take a seat, Mr and Mrs Dyke, Master Dyke, I'll get complimentary cocktail sent over. I hear the wrong word. He said die? And I'll be back to offer you an extremely attractive compensation package for your burnt you. towel. Good morning. Hello. Donald and Jacqueline Stewart from last year. Oh, yes. How could I forget? Nice to see you back. We tried to check in, but they didn't know anything about our booking. This place is a joke. We're on the free holiday that you gave us last year. For spying on your staff. Would you both like to take a seat? We're having complimentary cocktails. I thought it was all inclusive anyway. And I'll be back with you all in two shakes of a duck's tail. Donald Stewart, 
This is the wife, Jacqueline. Hola. I'm Clive. My wife, Tonya. And our son, Tiger. Good to know you. Would that be a Cockney accent I detect? Donald's very good at accents. Mm. He once played Hitler in Goebbels the Musical. People in the bar after couldn't believe you weren't German, could they? I do have an ear. We're North London originally, now we're in Watford. Well, practically St Albans. Ah, Watford. We know it well, don't we, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. A retired male stripper friend of ours, Morris the Meat Henderson, is chairman of the WSA. <laughs> Watford Swingers Association. Mm. No, a little dicky bird tells me it's cocktail hour. What can I get you? Sex on the beach, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Swingers! How many times do you have to be told? As soon as you took them out the bag, she told you what they were. They're tanning pills! We will, of course, be making tests on the drugs you brought into Spain. They're not drugs! Stop calling them drugs! Of course they're drugs. Brilliant. Why don't the pair of you make me a noose, put it round my neck, and your mother can kick away the chair? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Dramatic? Your mother's put a sack of unidentified white pills in her bag to bring to Spain. How dramatic do you want it to get? It wasn't a sack, it was a bag. Ugh. Perhaps we are to believe there is such a thing as tablets to make your skin brown. Why are you bringing them to Spain? Sitting in our sun is not good enough for you? Because she's mentally deranged. Oi. There's no need for that. Well, oh, look at the colour of her. You could sit in the sun all bloody year and never end up looking like that. Shh! Is there any chance we could go now and promise to come back tomorrow when you've had a chance to look at the tablets? Of course. Passport control procedure means we usually let all people carrying unidentified drugs carry on with their journey and pop back at a time which is more convenient to them. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, love. Sit down! <laughs> There's no reason to hold all of you. Just the person who was carrying the drugs. Right. Now, Madge, I don't want you to worry. I'll get Janice and Michael settled in, then I'll come back on the bus and I'll see how you're getting on. We're not leaving my mother here. You. <laughs> the drugs were found in your bag. Piss off! That was her bag! Well, how come you were carrying it, then? I don't believe it. I'm being framed by my own mother-in-law. <laughs> I can't stay here on my own. I'm nearly 70 years old. Well, if you're nearly 70, that makes me about 28. <laughs> it seems pointless as all sitting here. This could take all day. Are you seriously telling me you're all just going to piss off and leave me here? Peace out! Peace out, baby! I hope you're not leaving those towels there. Sorry? No, I'm just saying we left our towels out here this morning and they set fire to them. Well, they do warn you not to put them out before nine o'clock. Right. And have you seen the state of those rooms? Yeah, we come every year. You come every year? <laughs> oh, what was that for? Don't be so rude. Well, you started it. This place is a shit tip. Oh, will you stop doing that? Just show some consideration. Some people can't afford a proper holiday. I know, I just didn't think that included us. <sighs> I'm Tonya. My son, Tiger. Oh, hiya. I'm Janice. You're not stopping then? No. We booked this hotel thinking it was a four star and, well, I suppose it's a godsend if you're on a budget, but it's not really for us. Oh, we've been coming for years. Don Janice. <laughs> so, is your husband unpacking? No. No, er, uh, we had a few problems with the luggage. I best ring and find out how he's getting on. First, your husband gets arrested on drugs charges. Then, just when you think things can't get any worse, they put the price of mobility scooters up by 10 euros. That's 50 euros a week they're wanting. Thieving, twisting Spanish bastards. The bloke was English. Mother, for God's sake, just sit down. Oh, how can I sit down? I'm not settled without a scooter. 50 euros a week. My man will be spinning in his grave. He'd have been raking it in. Your old man on a drugs charge? Respect! Don't be so bleeding rude. It's not a drugs charge. He's not been charged with anything. It's just been a bit of a mix-up. Got caught bringing tanning pills through customs. Fuss about nothing, it'll all blow over. What kind are they? I'm a beauty therapist. Oh, frig if I know. Got them as a car boot, Sailor Nichols. Oh, <laughs> right. 
We ready for the off? No. Um, we're staying. What? No way. Absolutely no way. Don't make a scene, Tonya. Don't make a scene? I wouldn't kennel my dog in this place. You haven't got a dog. You know what I mean. If you think for one minute I am unpacking our cases in that glorified toilet of a hotel room... Tonya! Whoa! Be a sweetheart, Tonya. Go upstairs, unpack the bags, and come down in a slightly more positive frame of mind. Don't try to embarrass me, Clive. At the end of the day, you are just an extremely short man with a very <laughs> small penis. <laughs> Chiquito! Right. <laughs> Try to cool off, I think. Tiger, go and get your father a paper. I don't know where the shops are. I'll show you where the shops are if you want. Uh, sweet. I'm Tiger. Michael. Oi! Come here! Get your nana a scooter and come straight back. All right. You're mad paying them prices. You're welcome. There's no answer from Mick. I think we need to get straight back on that bus to Alicante. Frig that, you go. I'm staying here to watch round two with Charles and Diana. Should be good. I'm sorry, there's absolutely no record of this booking whatsoever. But you must remember, last year you had us running about like Batman and Robin. More like Laurel and Hardy. You booked us in on our free holiday on our last day. We stood here while you did it. I do remember you helping out, but I have absolutely no recollection of offering him a free holiday. Do you have any paperwork? No, you didn't give us any. I'm awfully sorry, but with no booking confirmation, there's not much we can do to help. If you'd like to make a booking, I'm sure Matteo here could squeeze you and your wife in somewhere. Any problems, just throw them out. We have to eradicate this riff-raff element we've been attracting lately. Do you know, I think I do remember you saying you were going to give them a free holiday. I know, but I've just had to give 80% discount to the Dykes. We have Dykes coming here? Mr <laughs> and Mrs Dyke. The husband's threatening to sue us for setting fire to his property. So, what should I do when Lauren Hardy refused to pay? Oh, just send them on the trail of the lonesome pine. Just get rid of them. Uh, at least I know I heard it wrong. I thought they said die, but I guess it's, it's dyke. So, okay, okay, we got it. We got the names. Tiger. Anya. It's already lunchtime. When are you planning to open? Thank you for visiting Blow and Go, the Solana's Hair and Beauty Emporium. Do you have an appointment? Where is he? If you are referring to Kenneth, head stylist and Benidorm Entrepreneur of the Year 2009, then I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. Kindly inform Mr. Dubeck that I am getting in touch with head office and starting the process of having Blow and Go removed from the Solana. You can't do that. He's paid his rent. The place is never open. We have a very discreet and selective clientele. They prefer the closed door policy. You haven't got any clientele because Benny Dobbs, Entrepreneur of the Year, spends his time pissed in jumping jacks next door singing Lady Gaga. I'm sorry, I have to go now. I have a nasal hair wax heater that is threatening to overboil. And don't come sniffing around me for a job when I close him down. Aya. Oh, thanks, love. We can't keep going on like this, you know. She's right, we're never open. Well, I've just had a lot on my mind recently. It's more than that. I can tell. Contact me ASAP. We need to speak. There's no use ignoring me. You can't run forever, Kenneth. All signed H. What's going on? Well, he's right, I can't avoid him forever. You can run in this town, but you can't hide. Who's H? An enemy? A, a relative? An ex-lover? No, he's none of those things. H stands for Herbert. Oh, I suppose I should be happy I got this far. Kenneth. Who is Herbert? He's the head of the Hafia. What's the Hafia? Is it, is it some kind of Spanish income tax? No, it's worse than that. It's the hairdressing mafia. Oh, oh yeah. Mafia. <laughs> <Happy. 
Australia. It's dead lucky you've got a car. Thanks for this. It's not a problem. Us Brits have to stick together. Your wife, Tanya, said you weren't stopping at the Solana. Did you ever change your plan? Tonya. Sorry? It's Tonya. Don't call her Tanya. She'll hit the roof. Oh, right. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, Janice. My wife is a very unstable woman. Last year, she found out that one of the people on my golfing holiday was a woman. You know what she did? No. She urinated in my coffee every day for a week. Bloody hell. Oh, yeah. Mentally unstable. Couldn't you tell she'd weed in your coffee? I couldn't as it goes. I take my coffee very strong. Jesus. As opposed to piss weak. You let me give me some petrol money, won't you? I wouldn't dream of it. So, these drugs, are you positive that they're just tanning pills? They must be. They only cost 20 quid at a car boot sale. Oh, we'll be fine. The only thing you've got to worry about is if he's got previous. Previous what? Previous record. Criminal record. Ah, looking good. They don't take any crap here. If he's been in trouble with the police before, It'll be back on a plane to the UK quicker than you can say, je ne regret rien. I tell him to stop, but he will not listen. Ooh. Look. You can't do this here. Whatever you do in the privacy of your own room is nobody's business but your own. But you can't do this here. But that's just it. We don't have a room, thanks to you reneging on your word. If this is a protest, then why are you both not chained to the sunbeds? We didn't have quite enough chain. Anyway, somebody has to be able to nip to the shops for water and such like. I'm afraid personal food and drink cannot be consumed on the premises. Fine, then you've just turned a peaceful demonstration into a hunger strike. For God's sake! <laughs> Jacqueline, I'm just going to pop up to the Mad Monk for a spot of brunch. Will you be OK? Oh, yeah. All right, stop it. <laughs> Mateo, give Mr and Mrs Stewart room 212. Come on. What's wrong with you? I've just said you could have a room. Mr Stewart, kindly unchain your wife from my sunbeds. I can't. What do you mean, you can't? I'm afraid I didn't expect you to cave in so easily. And I... I swallowed the key. Judith, what? Why did you do this, you crazy man? What is wrong with you people? I'll be back in about an hour. I do believe the Mad Monk do a very acceptable veg curry. Fingers crossed. Are you OK? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love her. Come on, girl. Oh, yeah. That man over there's got his wife chained to a pile of sunbeds. Doesn't surprise me. They're well known for it. What do you mean? Perverts. She'll be naked hanging upside down from the pool bar come five o'clock. Dear God. We met them upstairs. They've certainly seen the type. Apparently, last year, one of them was found roaming the streets at midday, dressed as a naughty nurse in stockings and suspenders. <laughs> That's not appropriate. Not during the day. No. And it wasn't the one chained to the sunbeds, either. Oh. <sighs> Boobies! You haven't seen my husband or my son at all, have you? Eh? Uh-oh. Yeah. Time for another drink, I think. No, I better get the school back to my nana. She's going to go mental. 
Now, wait a minute. Didn't I just batter the price down to 35 euros for the week for this thing? Batter the price. You nearly battered the block. Oh, a bit of gentle persuasion never hurts. And the false ID that I gave him means you could sell it at the end of the week. Win, win. Come on, bruv. You're round. Oh, boy. I am being this crap. I watched him grow. Damn, damage both. And I am no. And I think she must still. What a wonderful world. Yeah, yeah, I think to myself. What a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind the rain, that bit of Tommy Steele, love. I need a word. Bugger off, I'm singing. Once upon a time... We've got meeting with Herbert for you. What? what? What are you doing to me? Listen, listen. I mentioned Herbert to my dad and, well... Well, he knows him, don't you? Well, I uh, don't exactly know him, but I know a fella who knows a fella who knows a fella, if you see what I mean. No, I don't see what you mean. I probably know a fella who knows a fella who knows Shirley Bassey, but I'm not meeting up with her. Oh, I'd love to meet Shirley Bassey. Look, man, this isn't just anybody. This is the head of the hairdressing mafia. You're messing with the big boys, no. What's it got to do with you, anyway? Look, I'm just trying to help. If Herbert wants to see you, there's no point avoiding him. And you a stylist in Finistrad who started undercutting Herbert's prices. He was found floating face down in his own swimming pool with a stomach full of shampoo. Oh, my God. Well, I thought it was shampoo. The meeting's tonight. We're going with you. Everything's going to be OK. Out. Let's go. Thank you. Can I just see him for two minutes? You cannot go across to the other side of the airport without a ticket, and we cannot release your husband until a test has been done on the pills he was found with. But when can you do the tests? I understand your concern, and you have my personal guarantee. It will be done by Tuesday, the very latest. Tuesday? It's Thursday now. Oh God, I can't even ring him because his battery's flat. Jan? You can call the leaflet on this number at any time for an update. Janice! Janice, have you! Oh, don't cry. We'll come back tomorrow. Jan! <laughs> All right, guys, just one second. Jan! Yeah, Janice! <laughs> Skip to the loo, hey ho, skip to the loo, skip to the loo, my darling. Hello, love. Oh, I'm fine. How's it going? Oh, no worries, just keep eating. All right. See you later, bye. Swallow the key now, what can he do? Swallow the key now, what can he do? Swallow the key now, what can he do? Skip to the loo, my darling. How many times, Clive? I do not know where Tiger is. What did his text say? The same one word reply he always says, chill. I will chill him when I get hold of him. You tried calling him? Of course I tried calling him! What kind of idiot do you think I am? Ear shattering, screaming moron kind. What? <laughs> Hiya. I just wondered if you'd heard anything from my son. Uh, yeah, we just had a text from Tiger. He said they're fine. He said that Mitchell was showing him round Benidorm. Michael? Uh, Michael. Yeah, he said that he'd meet us down in the hotel bar later. Oh, which one? Neptunes? Neptunes, that was it. OK. Me and my mother will go down there, then. 
Great. See you there, then. Oh, and Clive, thanks for today. You were amazing. Yeah, see you later. What did you say that for? Eh? We don't know where they are. I didn't want her to worry. Oh, you didn't want her to worry? What about me? She's got a lot on her plate with her husband being locked up. And what was that she said to you? What? What did she say to you before you pushed her out the door? I didn't push her anywhere. I never touched her. Thanks for today. You were amazing. What the hell does that mean? It means thanks for the lift. No, it doesn't. Thanks for the lift means thanks for the lift. Oh, will you shut up and get dressed? What do you mean, get dressed? I am dressed. What is wrong with this dress? Nothing, as long as it's a vicar and tarts evening. Well, it's not a clown convention either, so you can take that shirt off for a start. I'll see you downstairs. <sighs> Although ten out of ten for effort on the red nose! Going now, then. I thought you said you wanted to ring your mum. I'm not that bothered now. <laughs> right, come on. I think it's time to get some souvenirs. We usually get all that crap on the last day, though. My nana, she likes the fridge magnets in the shape of a flip flop. And my daddy likes them glasses that when you put them on, instead of a nose, You've got a massive, big plastic... Cup. Come on, we're going to get a proper souvenir. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Benito! <laughs> hey! Benito! Get out of the way! <laughs> you do know there's a fair use policy. When we say all-inclusive, what we mean is as much food and drink in a day as one person would normally eat, not half a dozen. Another black coffee, if you please. Why do you keep eating? You could just put your fingers down your throat. It would never work. Both Jacqueline and I have extraordinarily high gag reflexes. <laughs> what does this mean? Believe me, you don't want to know. I'll order the coffee. <laughs> I tell you, for 15 euros, we can hire the machine that can cut through chains. 15 euros to hire a bolt cutter? You must be joking. No wonder your economy's in the state that it's in if you fritter away money like that. Oh, dear. What is wrong? I think it's time to release the beast. Doctor! Wait, 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 wait! The nearest toilet is this way. It's not a toilet that I need. This is a highly delicate operation. Just hope that bathtub's got a plug in it. No long now, Jacqueline. Geronimo! Yoo-hoo! We've struck oil! <laughs> Panic on the streets of London. I don't believe it. I've lost my husband and my son all in the space of one night. Don't be ridiculous. Your son's out with a mate, and your husband will be in for a better night's sleep than any of us will get tonight. Sing one we've heard of. There you go. Thanks, love. No worries. Wait for the staff round here, and you'll be spitting feathers. <laughs> All the Smiths. I love this song. Your wife not coming down. She's on her way. I said I'd come down and get her a drink. Oh, you've had time to get her half a dozen. You had another argument. No, not at all. She'll be doing her makeup. She likes to be well turned out. She's a beauty therapist. Oh. Never know it to look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The blessed DJ. Because the music that they constantly play Says nothing to me about my life Great. Here we are. Oh, how are you, man? What are you doing? Knocking on the door. How else will they know we're here? Just leave this to me. Oh, Leslie. Oh, man. You're going to ball this up. Will you just leave your dad to do what he needs to do? This way, I'm going to wake up tomorrow with an horse's head in my bed with a perm mane.
What are you looking for? We're standing right in front of you. I know you're standing in front of me, dickhead. I can hardly miss you. We're here to see Herbert. Sorry, pal. Nobody called Herbert here. We got the wrong bloody door. <sighs> Shut up, young un. We have a delivery for Herbert. A delivery of an outstanding order of damage repair solution. Herbert takes all deliveries at the rear. <coughs> yeah, well, I have my suspicions. Take your face left. Down the bottom of the street, then left again. Look for a door marked. Shit! A door marked shit? Do you mean marked in actual shit, or does it say shit in letters? Then I'll begin! Then! Hang on, pal. We'll come here together. We'll go in together. I don't remember telling you you could speak. I'll be all right. It's all Kenneth's fault. Also. Kenneth Dubeck. Go ahead. You're on your own now, pal. She's free. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, sorry about all this. Everything OK now? Oh, yes, it was a bit like a round of it's a knockout in the end, but all good life experience. I suppose so. It's not every day you can say you've spent several hours being chained up in the dark. Well, you say that. You left very quickly. Did you suddenly remember where you'd put your spare key? Not exactly. Suffice to say, my knight in shining armour turned up trumps. I suppose we should be thankful for small mercies. Hmm, and the brown trousers. Yeah. <laughs> All joys for. Jesus, move on, move out the way, man. Yeah. I'm... I'm sorry it took me time to come and see you. I've not been avoiding you. I've just been busy. Not busy in my salon. I mean, uh, business has been fairly quiet, to be honest with you. I just... Queenie I, Queenie I, who's got the ball? I haven't got it. It isn't in me pocket. Did you ever used to say that rhyme? Yeah. Me mum used to say it to me when I was a kid. Why did it take you so long to come and see me? I'm sorry. I just haven't had the time. Mm. Look, if it's protection money you're after, I haven't got a penny. I can barely afford to pay my staff. Protection money? Have I asked you for any money? No. Have I made any threats toward you? No. I just asked you to come and see me, Kenneth, but you ignored me. That hurt my feelings. Oh, for God's sake, just tell me what you want. You're scaring me. I don't know what there is about me to be scared of. Well, there's them gnashes for a start. I used to say that rhyme at the playground, you know. Who's got the ball? That's where your mother learned it. Probably. There's no probably about it. I taught her the rhyme. What? You knew my mother. Brenda. Only about 50 years. We went to school together. I came to Spain in the early 70s, but we never lost touch. When you started your salon, I made a few inquiries about you. Because, as you know, I like to know what's going on on my patch. Why didn't you just come into my salon? Instead of sending all your Jack the Ripper notelets? Eh, I'm not exactly Don Corleone. 
More like Donny Osmond with them teeth. Will you shut up about my teeth? So you remember who told you Queenie I who's got the ball? Yeah. I told you. It was me mum. Nobody else? No. Oh, hang on. I had an uncle. Well, not an uncle, he was a mate of me mum's. Campus tits he was, he was hilarious. But I haven't seen him since I was about 11. Oh, God, what was his name? Um, Uncle... Bertie. Bertie? That's right. Uncle Bert. Oh, my God. Herbert. Mm. Your Uncle Bertie. <laughs> it's been a long time, kid. Come in. Am I? Oh. Eh? Hey? Uncle Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you, little Kenny. Not so little now. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. Your mother always did keep a very good table. Is it true that you own every hairdressing salon between here and Valencia? <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. I've got a bit of business to do now. Right, can I give you a lift somewhere? Yeah, you could take me to the salon if that's OK. Oh, hmm? but I've got a couple of mates with me. It's no problem. You will stay in touch, won't you? I promise your mum will keep an eye on you. You may not see me, but uh, I'll be looking out for you, kid. Promise is a promise. Hmm? And you never know. I might be able to help you as well. Oh, yeah? Tell me you did them teeth and I'll get them for you. <laughs> right. Shift yourself, Queenie. I come on. Let's be having you. Let me out. The hair father. Oh. I guess I'll never know. It's no good. I'm ringing the police. It's not that bad. <laughs> I've heard you'll make do worse. Not about his singing, you daft sod, about our Michael. Oh, stop your mithering. They only texted about 20 minutes ago. I know, they keep texting, but where are they? with the wonder of you, and it's a wonder our speakers are still working. <laughs> it was in the wrong key. You haven't got the version I usually do. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure Elvis made a pig's ear of it now and again. Right, more karaoke later, but first, the Solana's very own Asa Elliot! <laughs> That's a terrible microphone. You reminded me of Elvis. Well, that was the idea. About two minutes before he slid off the box. Tiger went out to his mobile. Call him from your phone. They've texted. They've said they're on their way. Seven hours. Seven hours they've been gone. Oi, none of you. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, that's our dinner. Kisses it go. Get here, you. He's absolutely pie-eyed. I told you, like father, like son. Oh, shut up. Where have you been? Michael was showing me around Benidorm. This place is nuts. We've got your scooter on there, but we crashed it. <laughs> it's, it's not far away, though. It's just a couple of streets. None of this would have happened if you hadn't bought those stupid bloody pills with you. Me? You're blaming me? What about Clyde and Tanya? If they brought their child up in any decent manner, it wouldn't have happened. Tanya! My name is Tanya! His name is Clive. My name is Tonya. <laughs> What's this shit? Why can't I put some proper music on? Right, come here, you. Sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry we will replace your sausage. Get out! Can you hear me? Or is there something wrong with your ears as well? Shame on all the family. Get out! Another quiet night in Neptunes. Right, what can I get you to drink? Ah, oh, fine, thanks, kid. I can't stop long. I'll Chief. give one to you. It's not always this rough in here. Well, you've no need to worry. You've got your Uncle Bertie keeping an eye on you now. Right? Oh, Matteo! Matteo, have you got a minute? Sure. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah. I just want to introduce you to somebody. Matteo, this is my Uncle Bertie. Oh, he's gone. Maybe he went to the bar? No. No, 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 he's gone. He just likes to keep a low profile. Have you been all this time? Just in Benidorm. He'll have alcoholic poisoning. He'll be lucky if he makes it through to the morning. I want another drink. 
Just you wait until your father hears about this. My dad's in jail. Come on. I want to stay here. Mother, get his other arm. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Where should you spoil my evening? I love Frank Highfield. Get up there now. Come on. What have you done here? Oh, oh my God, you've burnt yourself. How have you done this? Oh, my God. I love Bennett on me. <laughs> Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm, another season. We dived into season six, and uh, we got some interesting characters. Tanya, Tanya. Uh, definitely will say that name wrong. Most definite. So thankfully she doesn't watch the reaction. So I don't have to worry about her ripping me, uh, and chasing after me, but, uh, Tyga, Tonya, Clive, uh, some interesting, interesting characters. Now I gotta say this 100% is Madge's freaking fault. How are you going through like, you know, um, in the airport, you don't even mention it to your family. And then you're going to have an argument, you know, there where you're going to cause a scene, man. Like, ah, man, just freaking match, man. I know, you know, you're trying to keep a low profile on that stuff, but damn, you know, uh, whether it's tanning pills or not, you know, debatable, but, uh, hey, you gotta, you gotta mention it to your family and stuff like that. So yeah, you keep more of a low profile. They made it so like. Uh, obvious, you know, the, you know, the troublemakers, you know, by just arguing right in front of when you're going to be getting seen and stuff. So kind of silly there, but, uh, you know, it caused this nice, uh, introduction eventually into these new characters. Now, um, I guess I don't get to see Sam and Trudy anymore. So this will be interesting. And, um, yeah, I think that it's, it's cool. Cause at least for, for Michael now, he's going to probably have someone to bond with throughout into the show because, uh, there's really was like no one around his age. So hopefully he'll get into some cool, crazy adventures. Him getting tatted up was insane. Like, I mean, you can love Betty Dorf, but damn. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's a bold statement for him cause he's still young. So, uh, you know, his mom will whoop that ass. So, uh, Janice, beautiful as always, uh, uh, Tonya too, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, she's definitely firing up. I think I liked when she was ripping on Clive. And she basically was like that. He's small. I like that. That that was a nice line there. Uh, you know, Leslie coming in there. We're going to have the code word. Uh, I guess we could, we could say it. Hair Mafia. Um, I need to see the Godfather films because honest, honest, I don't remember jack shit from it. So... I need to watch those movies and stuff. You could get the vibes of it, but man, I really gotta, I gotta get back to my freaking mafia days. Uh, uh, you know, these gangster films. I love, I love that genre, but I just, yeah, I'm sad to say I don't remember much of the Godfather, if at anything at all. Um, so something I gotta watch on my free time, but, uh, Kenneth, again, that's Kenneth's fault right there. Just handle the problem when it's there. You know, a lot of people avoid the problem instead of just, you know, dressing it there, you know, a lot of times we can just avoid the problem and then it just escalates and makes it worse. But my man's teeth was crazy. Thing was shining at the nighttime. He's smiling and stuff. You're going to see that smile a mile away. So I think part of the problem definitely was match fault right there. I got to say Joyce, you know, I'm a little disappointed her in the beginning. Like, yo, you don't honor your word. And, you know, I grow up word is everything. Your word is your bond. You know, uh, you know, if you don't keep to that. And she tried to not keep to that at first. So shame on you, Joyce, for that one. Um, you know, um, I can't respect that, that she was going to leave Donald and, and Jack lean, you know, to the curve, kick him to the curve. So, you know, especially they helped her out in that situation. But uh, <laughs> Donald, Jacqueline going to the extreme lengths, got what they wanted. And I just love, 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 love every time Jacqueline's like, oh, yes. <laughs> Just seeing that, oh man, I can't even express how much joy it puts, uh, you know, my heart is just smiling, my face is smiling, because she's just a great character, you know, Donald taking one for the team, you know, eating that, 
I could have swore in one scene, in one section of it, that it looked like the lock had a key on it. But, you know, I didn't I didn't want to think too much into it because uh, it really did look like when it, there was like a little key there already. So um, but when it zoomed in again, it didn't see it. But I might have to do a take back on it and, and, and look through it again because I could have swore I saw a key. But, yeah, I think. The uh, the new family introduction, I think they're going to be okay. It's going to be very interesting there. When my man was grabbing, he kind of he grabbed Janice's, uh, you know, uh, butt. And I was like, wow, right in front of Mick. Mick getting triggered right there. Mick getting angry there. I can only imagine and I'm and, and looking forward to a confrontation between him and Clive because that's that's going to be, eventually he's going to get out of jail at some point. Uh, you know, poor Mick, man. <laughs> Mick always get the he get the wrong end right there. So, uh, hopefully he doesn't get cavity searched. But um, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The music performances at the Neptune were just eh. This this day, I do look forward to a lot of the music performances. But uh, yeah, sorry, Clive, you didn't impress me there. So hopefully we'll see some more good performances because the music part is a really cool part of the show. And I've grown fond of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You already know the drill. More Benny Norm coming soon. And uh, we'll continue six. Let's get it, baby. See you soon. Peace.